Still this, here. Still sign, still here. The no parking sign on East 95th Street, installed last week right in front of Phil Smith's hair salon. 31 years he's been in business here, this was a first, creating a hardship, he says, for his customers, many of them elderly, some disabled. We have people with disabilities that need this spot. So that's all I'm asking is that they, they remove the sign. And keep their word. The word from representatives of Alderman Anthony Beal's office, who told us last week the sign would come down. They said the signs were installed in error. No one from the city can explain why the sign was installed here three decades after Smith opened his salon, though a city transportation spokesman told the state law says vehicles cannot be parked within 20 feet of a crosswalk. That's about the distance between this intersection and the sign in front of Smith's salon. But then how do you explain this no parking sign? We've estimated it's about 100 feet from this intersection. Taking away even more parking for Smith's shop and other businesses on 95th. We've been out here over 1959. 60 years. 60 years. And all of a sudden you can't park across the street. All right. Makes no sense. Oddly, moments later, a city worker showed up and moved that no parking sign much closer to the intersection. He relocated another around the corner. A city spokesman told us it was an acknowledgement that those signs had been incorrectly placed. But still, no action on the no parking sign in front of Phil Smith's salon. I'm in the twilight of my career, and I really need to have these spots to sustain the few years I got left here. So that's, that's why I'm screaming and crying. In the West Chesterfield neighborhood, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Late this afternoon, transportation spokesman Michael Claffey told us the sign has to stay up. The reasons? Heavy traffic on 95th Street and efforts to keep pedestrians safe.